Hey team, today I'm going to walk you through five proven ways to promote your non-emergency medical transportation in your local area. Because I know when most of the time when people get started with the non-emergency medical transportation, the easiest way is to sign up with um, your state, the company, who the broker that got under your state's contract for Medicaid and also private broker. But we all know that the money reside in the private contract. So I'm going to walk you through five effective way, proven ways that you can use to promote your business online. Okay, so let's dive in. Uh, let me share my screen with you and walk you through. Take a uh, get a pen and take a note because this you're gonna learn a lot from it. So we're gonna go walk through all uh, the online strategy. So how you can get client online uh, through social media, Google and stuff like that. So I'm gonna walk you through my video. There is no BS. We don't go around the bushes. I go straight and I don't all the nothing. So the first thing that you need to do is to optimize your non-emergency medical transportation online on Google. A lot of people sleep on this. Uh, it's free. It's free and it's online and we all do use it. But for some reason, when people are in business, they forget to use this tool, which is Google Map Business. Okay. A lot of people don't have a profile or if they do, they don't use the full potential of this tool. So Google My Business, let me show you what I mean by that. So whenever people go, we all do, when we need something, what you do first, go to Google, okay? So when people go to Google, they put whatever they're looking for near me. So non-emergency service near me. If somebody is looking for non-emergency service, for loved one or for themselves, they're gonna go on Google. So it's gonna show, you see, this company did it and this is in my area. I mean, it's not my city. This pro uh, business is not my city, but they show up because they're the one who utilize the tool. There is other company that I personally know in my area, in my city, that doesn't show on this list. You know, so we click, if you click on map, you're going to see extended list. Okay. So I'm going to share with you how you can get on that list and rank higher. Okay. So what do you do first is you have to create or claim your Google, my business profile. If you don't know how to do it, I have a full video on that in my, uh, the, the playlist I got on my YouTube channel for business owner, small business owner, or you can join the Facebook group to have access to the full video too. So you create that, you claim that. And then when you claim that, make sure you put keyword, Google ranking, top ranking keyword for uh, that your audience is going to be looking for, like non-emergency service in Blunt City or non-emergency transportation near me, or stretcher transportation near me. So make sure you put those keyword high on. Then the next thing you're going to do is add picture picture in your Google profile. Make sure you do so a nice picture of your team, uh, transportation uh, team uh, when you are a doctor appointment or your service, your flyer, anything, okay? So put stuff that the client can, so if we click on this one, we can see that they don't have a Send, uh, send to phone. There are a few review, but they did not put picture. So it's good to put picture. This one, let's see if they have a picture. So none of them got actually really good picture and stuff like that, but you need to add those, okay? So, and include that I, like I say, you can watch the video to know how you can optimize your Google 
uh, my business profile. So the second thing is create a localized consignment for your website. We all know when you have a non-emergency medical transportation is a key to have a website. So if you need a somebody to do, I have a full video on how to create this, uh, your website in less than an hour. But if you need somebody to do it for you, my company is specializing in uh, designing a website for small business owners. So you can get in touch with me. The link is down below the description of this video. So in, if you create your website, do a good website, but I would advise most of the time to people to write a blog post on your website. So let me show you what I mean by uh, creating a blog. So this is a website that's uh, a company in my area got. So you see, they got their own page and it's really relevant picture and the service that they offered, how to contact them, but they blog, you see, write a um, blog about, think back and, and trust your audience, okay? So that's the way to be seen. So. He, they got navigate the water of will, best transportation, non-emergency medical services, making recovery smoothie, uh, smoother for post-surgery. So you can see travel without limits. So they made article about stuff that the audience can be looking for, you know, so that help them rank when, let's say, somebody in our area go and uh, is looking how to recover uh, is uh, nicely smoother after surgery. This can pop up. And that at the end of the article, most of the time you'll see them, they will say, if you need non-emergency, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you see, they put the thing, we served in this area and stuff. So always include the blog, if you can, to your website. Upload the photo that you have tagged to a business location. So when you do your, um, on your website, the picture that you add, make sure those are picture, if possible, are taken in your area of service or close to your business location. Like when you take a picture of your equipment or your team, do it when they, they close your business. So since it is a uh, tag, uh, to 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 that area, so that help Google rank your uh business when people are looking for non-emergency medical transportation in your area. Area, so and also if you have, let's say you serve several city, and uh, like I live where I live, our county is Barto. So you serve Barto, but you there is a three or four different city that you provide service. Make sure you create small landing, uh, landing page. Those are one page website for each of the community that you service. So that help Google rank up because you can register uh, Google My Business. You do it in, let's say, your city, which is mine, is Cordesville. But your business might be serving Aquaf, Kennesaw City, Irona as. So if you do a uh, landing page, that app, okay? And also include on your website, uh, QA. So they, they don't have that here, but it's good to add that to your base, uh, to your website also, okay? So let's go. So localize content for your business. That's a, a, for your website. So this was the website. The first thing that I told you out of the five way to uh, promote your business locally, your non-emergency medical transportation locally. The first one is optimize your Google My Business profile. And second, um, create content that are linked to uh, your location on your website, okay? And three, leverage social media. This is, oh my gosh, this is one thing that a lot of people sleep on too when, uh, when 
they have a business, any kind of business on top of that non-emergency business, you know. So if you have, because sometimes people are like, oh, I don't think people are going to be in social media. People are at social media, especially Facebook decision maker in the house or most of the time they on social media they are like facebook so and the why i love facebook is like they got a group so join those group that are local to your city or the area that you service okay so when you go let me take you on facebook and search by the way if you are a business owner non-emergency medical transportation or order i have a small group uh on facebook for people who own a small business uh, looking for side hustle how to promote the business and everything about small business how to grow star you know so but join the group we're having fun there. So um, let me go. My computer comes sometimes slow down. So you can do a group of, what am I going to? What is your Georgia? So when I hit that, it will give me list of group. So, uh, So I will not say yourself. So I will say join meaningful group in your area, call it your small business, mom group, you know, or parenting group in your area or city that you service, okay? Join daycare group. You'll be surprised. There is so many parents that got a kid in a, that is disabled or they need a transportation, like they go to the doctor office and stuff. So parenting group, play, um, get together group, okay, or reading a book club and stuff like that. So join like Carrizio Georgia babysitter. So there, why join that? You're not providing babysitting, but there is people there first that got a kid. So some of those kids might need, like when they go there on Medicare or they go to doctor appointment, their insurance offer pay to pay for it. So people are there. There are people that are looking for babysitters to so parents. And those parents, sometimes they have elderly parents. Or them themselves, they, they need transportation. So those are the type of group that you need to join. And when you join, don't just be there to observe. Uh, create content. Like, let's say, if you are in a babysitting group. So create content. Those are people with small kids and stuff like that. So create content that can help parents. It might not have a direct link to you. Like, uh, you can create a content of how to help uh, or help with tantrum your kid throw tantrum or your kid do this. This is how to help with it. And at the end or throughout the, the, the article, put stuff or video, put stuff with your company, what your company do. People will watch those videos. It might not be that day that they need your service, but if you keep putting, you show up like once in a week in those group with content that help, comment stuff. So you're gonna be the person, the go-to for that type, whenever they need that type of service, you know? So create meaningful content for the group, the community that you join. So also be posting on your social media, like uh, post, make um, make a con content like a post quotes that you post. Sometimes post about your team. Make a blog, post about those blog or any article that you find on the web. Put a link of it on a post. Okay, so that was the third leverage social media. Okay. Share behind the, uh, the the scene videos or picture of you providing your service or just do play role or tutorial about this and that. 
Um, and also one thing that can really work for people that you can get a lot of clients, how to become uh, a pay caregiver for a loved one, a disabled loved one. Meaning, you know, a lot of people, they stay and they have to stay. They have, they might have a, a child that got a Down syndrome. So they have to stay home to care for that kid. But in the meanwhile, we all need money. So you can show them how to qualify for the state to pay them as a caregiver. So those programs exist. Write an article about it. Go to ChatGPT or Google and write your article about it, read about it. So the fourth thing is partner with local healthcare provider online. Okay, so hospitals, senior care facility, rehab, so those places, you have to bring your card, your flyer, everything there, call. And if there is some of them on Facebook or TikTok or stuff or social media that you can tag in your post, that's a good way to do. Because some of those facilities, they have the social media account. So make sure you tag them, okay? So... You can collaborate with them. You can even like if I'm you, um, have a YouTube channel about something related to family, uh, transportation or anything, and you can propose to those facility because we're all looking for clientele. So you can propose to the facility. Look, be the one. Like you can your. YouTube channel doesn't have to be on just non-emergency medical transportation, no. You can create a YouTube channel about uh, your city or your county that you talk about the best stuff in your county, the news, um, best park to go in, uh, in my area, best restaurant to go eat on budget for family. So much thing. So when you're doing that, Propose to those facilities to come and interview them. So that's most of the time we want to talk about those facilities need to be out there. So when you come to them, they're more open. Tell them, look, I have a small channel in our area that's all focused on our county. So I wanted to come and see if I can talk to somebody there take me through what you guys do, how you help, what is special about you. So they're going to say yes. If they say yes, then you come, then you introduce yourself fully. You say, oh, look, I have a non-emergency business, a transportation business on the side in case you guys need. So you will have build trust when you do that interview and then give them. So if they need, they all got their regular, but if the regular uh, non-emergency transportation that they use, car broke down or something, who they gonna call? Of course you, because they build relationship with, they build trust. So it's all about try to help before asking for the service. Do webinar, workshop, or like go to senior living place and do the bingo. Like ask that you can come and do um something on the bingo. Or if the some of them got a program that they take <laughs> the senior on uh, outside, say to the restaurant or do activity to the library. Participate to that, ask her to do a little video or something about that, okay? So the fifth one, before I go to the fifth one, in case you need a website building or need a branded kit for your social media, set up your Facebook profile the right way. So check out my link down below this video. You can access it to the full service that we provide. And as little as $50, we got you, we set your branding key and set up your profile on Facebook. That price is for now. So uh, hurry on the website and find out. So we're talking about it in this video, five ways to, uh, promote your non-emergency medical transportation online. So the first one was, 
Okay, somebody join me. Optimize your Google My Business. They can create content that is a link to your on your website that are linked to your business location. Leverage social media and four food use talk about partner with local healthcare provider online. And fifth, use Google and Facebook ad to target specific audience. So you can use that. That is not that cheap, but I will say even if you can spend, okay, if you can spread mommy life, you can spare $20 or like $50 in the week, each week to promote, to do a Google ad, I will tell you, go ahead and do it. You're not going to regret all of those bring you uh, client and is you can target the range, the age that you want. <laughs> okay, so today that was all I got for you. So for the how to, I do love how they did the, the website. That's what I was talking about. Do, when I say landing page for each area. So that's well done. So each area got the, and it, you see, they put the same pages, but it's help. They it make a Google. You see, they show when showing picture and the stuff that they do because they do group activity, like personal luxury, and all doctor appointments. So, and they got the medical transport group activity. So they got the service. It's a simple but yet so powerful website so this is a community walk or something that they participate to they put the picture so put a contact as on your website all right that's what i got for you today and until next time let's keep the hustle on okay <laughs>